Hello guys, I'm Sinkus, and today we're gonna be doing a quick building tutorial on where else CryptoVoxels. If you're wondering why everything behind me is blank, it's because I'm in isolate mode for the sake of the speed and for the sake of the video. If you don't know what that is, worry not, I'm explaining it in the description down below. So in this tutorial we're gonna cover everything or at least most of the things you need to know in order to get started with building in CryptoVoxels. We're gonna cover how to build and edit your building, how to add text, paragraphs, 3D text, images, GIFs, NFTs, videos, audios and particles, and my personal favorite, of course, voxes generated by Magica Voxel. And the best thing, we're gonna cover all that in just 10 minutes. So bear with me. We have a lot to go through, we don't have a lot of time, so let's get to it. Once you're in your parcel, you can right click or press tab in order to bring up the menu, like this. Once you're in the menu, you can click, click on this block or this diamond shape right here um, that weren't previously available so if you are outside of your parcel or in another parcel you can access those so you can click up on that and these are all the building blocks that you have available and these are the blocks all lined up for you to see now in order to place the block down all you have to do is bring up the menu click on the blocks then select the block you'd like and then just aim at where you want to place it left click and the blows goes down in order to delete a block you have to aim it press shift and keep it pressed and then left click and the block is gone covering huge surfaces of area with uh, block by block can be pretty tiring so we have a quick build tool and the way it works is you click on the place you want to start you keep the click pressed and then you move to the place you want to finish say this one and this generates a line of blocks same goes with deleting, so I can press shift, start here, and then finish all the way down there. And the block on the line is gone. Quick thing to remember, we are in a 3D world, so we have three axes. We have the X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis. Now, the, uh, the quick build mode only works between two axes at the same time, at any given time. So I can build a wall between X and Y. I can build a wall between Z and Y. Or I can build a wall between Z and X. What I can't do is I can't start between X and Y and then move in the Z direction. So making a 3D cube. Um, nothing will spawn if I just drag my mouse here and, and release it. So keep that in mind. Now having only black and white blocks can be a bit depressing. So we can add some color in our buildings. The way we uh, that can be done is bringing up the menu then selecting the color right here and then selecting a block to, to use so for example if I uh, select this one with blue color a blue block will spawn and it keeps it in your clipboard so you can add multiple blocks or even use the quick build tool it's real simple and you can change uh, different colors or you can even come up here in edit and choose different colors right here um, now another thing you can do is use inverted blocks and the way they work is let me place the block down so this block uses two colors it's, a, it's uh, a white block with a black outline if I use inverted block and use this and put the same block down what I'll get is a black block with a white outline so it basically just inverts the color that this block uses pretty basic uh, can be used for some interesting stuff it's up to you to come up with them so now let's move into the more interesting stuff. Coming back right here and opening up our menu um, and clicking on the diamond, we get shown uh, a range of options for items that we can add in the world, from most simple ones like text and images to more complex like Vox models and NFT images. So I'll start with the basics and move our way towards the more complex one. So text is as simple as it gets. You just select it, place it wherever you want, and then fill in the text uh, maybe you can uh, you, you also want to hyperlink it and add a URL then we can t uh, play with the font sizes and with a color you can either have it as black or click on inverted and make it white simple as that these arrows right here are in every editor these arrows in the bin uh, you, in every item that you're gonna edit you, you will see them the, uh, the arrows are basically so you can move the item around and the bin is so you can delete the item so as you can see there's text there if I click the bin the text is gone now, before I move in more uh, in every other item, uh, we want to take a, make a little stop in this edit feature, uh, and this basically works in every other item. 
the way it works is um, if you want to edit anything so maybe I've written my Twitter here and I've hyperlinked so if I had written that wrong instead of having to delete it and then opening it again I can just click on edit aim click again and then I can click it and I would have to make it, uh, even if I wanted to delete it and do it again, I would have to use the editor in order to delete it from right here. So that's all about text and edit. Then we can add 3D text by uh, clicking right here and then placing it on the ground. Uh, we can also only make um, words up to 12 letters long with polytext, but you can play around with the size uh, of, the, of the letters and you can also rotate them, so keep that in mind. The next up we have paragraphs, so it's basically lines of text and you go in the editor here and you can add your text right here. Uh, it also supports markdown, so you can do bolds or italic or whatever it is that you can do with markdown. So there's that, you can also play with the width and the height as well. Pretty cool stuff. So now let's move into more interesting stuff such as images. And the way they work, they're pretty simple just click on the image, you place it on the wall and then here in the image URL you just copy a link of an image I personally have uploaded one in Dropbox as you can see I can just press OK and the image shows simple as that and I can also play around with the size uh, so I can make it fit my wall if it wants to move alright there it is take on stretch and there you go that's good so images for me are uh, really interesting because you can use them in way to uh, in a way to make uh, your buildings uh, look better on the outside and maybe on the inside as well. So the way you could you would go about that is to find an image of uh, of a texture and then apply that on the wall, just like I've done here. I've added a stone brick texture on top of a blank wall, so it gives the illusion of uh, of a more realistic wall inside the game pretty cool stuff so there's that with images and then we have NFT images which are basically kind of the same but also not really the main difference is that instead of uh, linking just an image you have to link an OpenSea asset and the twist is that you also have to own the asset that you link um, I don't have a link of, uh, for, or from that right now so I'm not gonna do it but it's just a simple you have to own any asset that you want to display and you just have to link it nothing more to it um, continuing we can also add um, audio and video and the way they work is pretty simple I'm not gonna add but I'm just gonna show you how they look like so audio you just uh, click it on the wall and you can link an audio URL of an mp3 up to 10 minutes long simple as that you just click on the three dots you uh, upload you enter your link and uh, you can start uh, listening to it and then video kind of the same deal just click on the video I'm outside of my parcel right you click on the video you place it on the wall and you just give it a link you can play it with the size of the image as well uh, keep in mind it's for short videos so probably you won't be able to link a, a whole movie or something like that but for a small video you should be okay alright so let's go back to the other side here we have um, I want to show you real quick the call bell which is uh, a button you can press and link your discord ID and then anytime someone press it you get a DM on discord at least supposedly because I was checking it be earlier be before I made the video and it didn't seem to work maybe I was doing something wrong uh, I'm not sure so then we have button for scripting and I have no earthly idea what that can be used for I don't have any experience with scripts so if you wanna know uh, more about it you have to look elsewhere now before we come to the Vox models which is my personal favorite let me show you particles real quick so you just put them down and then you uh, can change the emission rate it's just particles spawning nothing fancy but you can make for some cool stuff uh, you can change the size the the maximum size of the particles and the minimum size of the particles and you can also mess around with the colors I saw a lot of money use them recently uh, on top of a chimney to make it look like it was smoking and it was pretty good now my personal favorite are Vox models Vox models are basically 3D models that you have created um, for example my wearables are basically Vox models my vest and my hat um, 
and what you can do is you, you can recreate those in world as an as items um, for example if you're having an uh, an in-game shop where you're selling your wearables you can have them you can display them so people can see them so the way it works is pretty simple you just again you have to uh, have them uploaded somewhere I have uploaded them in Dropbox uh, as well so I click OK and the vest spawns in the world I can also edit it and play around with the width height and depth and voila I have a full size uh, more than full I would say uh, vest Boxes are interesting because you can add uh, different shaped blocks. For example, all the, the range of blocks we have here are all uh, square, are cubes. With Vox, you can create a circular um, a circular block. And then if you want to uh, build a column, for example, you can use uh, Voxes on top of each other in order to recreate a circular column. It can do for some interesting stuff. I won't go into too much detail uh, in this video but I will cover them uh, in full detail in the f next video so keep an eye out for that so that's all for this video I think I've covered pretty much anything you can ask for when it comes to start building in crypto voxels I wanna give a huge shout out to skinny for giving me the parcel so I can experiment on it uh, so I can do this video so I can uh, start uh, trying my hand in building so before I close, I just want to say that if you want, if you like my videos, uh, consider subscribing to the channel, liking it, and maybe, or most importantly, rather, uh, sharing it with your friends on Twitter, Sand, or anywhere else. It's been Sinkus. Till the next time.